What's up guys? So today we're going to do another 101 topic and that is titles and the names. So if you know anything about prayers and you've researched it, you'll notice that the Greeks gave titles to the gods. It's like a big one that is like Zeus Soter or Zeus the Savior is what that translates as. So when we pray to the gods, do we have to address the gods in a formal title? Or can we just call them Zeus, Era, Hades, so forth? Also, does it really matter how we pronounce their names? So this video is something I've been wanting to do for a while, and that's because back when I first started, I wasn't really sure how to address the gods in prayer, because everyone, you when you research, you notice, like I've said, that you'll see that a lot of people would address them with a title, like for different prayers, they would have a different title. Like Zeus Soter, again, is just Zeus the Savior, and people would use that when they would pray. I can see the benefit of it if it is a specific thing that you're wanting to pray for. You can research and use that because that's the kind of prayer that you're using. But at the end of the day, the title is just addressing the concern of what the person is praying for. Like the Savior, meaning the Savior of the city. And you had the polis, which was about the protector and stuff like that. But it is, I've never found it necessary to give a title to a god or goddess, especially every day or every time I pray. When I pray, as you've seen on my videos, it's always just to Apollon, to Artemis, to Era, to Dionysus, and so forth. And it was just a thing back in the day to give a title to a god when you prayed. And it's not just a Greek or Hellenic thing. Uh, those that grew up in the church, in the Christian church, know that there were titles to the Christian God as well. Like you had Jehovah Jireh, for example, was probably the most po popular. Jehovah being the Christian God and Jireh being the title in Hebrew meaning X, Y, and Z. So in Jehovah Jireh wasn't the only title given to that God. So it's not just a Hellenic or Greek thing that that was a common thing back then to do. On another topic, since we're talking about names and titles, is it necessary, <laughs> kind of uh, necessary, is it necessary to address a god in Greek pronunciation? Like instead of calling and praying the Hera, calling her Ira or Dionysus, instead of saying Dionysus in prayer, People try to figure out, is it Dionysos? Is it blah, blah, blah? And some of the pronunciations are funny when people don't speak Greek and they're trying to uh, pray to the God. And then some people have a mix. that Sometimes they'll do a mix and sometimes they'll do the English and sometimes they'll do the Greek. Is does it matter? And the answer again, just like the titles, it doesn't really matter. I've never run into a God that didn't hear my prayer just because I decided to go traditional American and call him Dionysus or Dionysos if I wanted to go Greek. Both had the same results. It's not about the titles again. It's about what we're praying for and where we're coming from. I mean, the gods understand. And the gods don't really care. I mean, people mispronounce my name all the time because I spell it... Um, definitely my real name than what it sounds. And just because some, think of it this way, just because so, someone comes to me with a concern and they say my name wrong or pronounce it wrong, am I going to ignore that person just because they said my name wrong? Think of it. If I would help this person that had a concern and they came to me and they pronounced my name wrong, I wouldn't turn them away. And so the gods don't turn people away just because of how we decide to 
pronounce their names. So don't feel like you have to learn Greek in pronunciation to address the gods. You can call him Dionysus, Dionysos, Hermes, Hermes. It sounds cooler, I guess, if you do the Greek or the Greek pronunciation, but it's not a necessity. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to touch on these topics because back when I first started, I always wondered, did I have to figure out what title these gods um, were addressed as when it came to a certain concern? And I always wondered, should I actually try to call Zeus by his Greek version and so forth, you know? Because a lot of people have different ways of saying Zeus, believe it or not. Zeus, <laughs> I mean, it's all over the place. And people do it all the time. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative. And it helped clear some things out and some of that worry, because I know I used to kind of worry about that kind of stuff too. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys are having a good day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.